guys, Brad here bringing you guys another Pokemon Sun and Moon um, leaked information video. Um, this actually was leaked a little bit while ago, um, while I was actually at work. But um, if you guys are hyped for this, feel free to drop a like down below. And if you are new, subscribe as well. On our way to 500 subscribers, a huge millennium for this channel. Um, hopefully, probably going to get there over the weekend. So I do have something planned as of right now. Um, also, I actually have a Twitter poll going on right now. Um, tomorrow afternoon, I'm actually going to be making a, um, starting a new series on the channel. Basically, I have four Pokemon that I kind of want to use um, in a certain tier, which is actually going to be starting out with PU. Four Pokemon on my Twitter. You guys can go vote in that poll. And uh, by tomorrow afternoon, when I decide to sit down and record, um, the uh, single Pokemon with the highest amount of votes is going to be the Pokemon I'm be uh, building a team around. Um, it's going to be starting out in the PU tier, just to... Uh, because it was actually uh, more of the tier I've been playing a lot lately. Um, that and I hopefully I can just uh, get a few of the bugs out of my recording software and stuff like that. Just to get familiar with it. So PU is a pretty good place to start. And then I'll hopefully move around a few tiers. Uh, just want to get that out there for you guys. So you guys do know what's going on. If you guys do want to go to full for that. Add Brad Mew on Twitter. So um, as for this. A um, few new things leaked. I really, really wasn't originally going to make a video about this. Uh, was didn't really make a video about yesterday. I kind of wanted to wait till Friday, so when the trailer actually dropped, um, I would make a video about the trailer and get it all in one shot. Um, it's un but unbelievable how much news they're actually dropping to us uh, as of late. Uh, there was never this much news for Pokemon XY, and even for Pokemon Oras, it was kind of spread out over more of a period of time. It really wasn't dropped on us like all in one week. Um, I feel like we get an insane amount of news like constantly now. Um, there's really no break. Uh, that's really why I haven't really been covering like most things. I kind of want to wait till like most of the trailers and stuff like that um, to get my point opinions out there for you guys. But you guys insistently wanted me to tell you guys my opinions about these um, leaks that actually happened. Uh, again, I was at work earlier. These pretty much dropped about five or six hours ago. And again, I was at work, so I had nothing to really, um, couldn't really do anything about them. I was actually slaving away, uh, dealing with six caterings tonight, cleaning up after those. So. Um, we got a new Pokemon, the, uh, Sea Coral Pokemon, um, Payukumaka, Kumuku, I'm not quite sure how you really say that, hopefully we do get the, uh, English, I'm not quite sure if it's the English or the Japanese translation, but ability enters out, um, basically throws every, it's, basically it barfs over you, basically, it's supposed to have like a fist inside of it, and then basically hits you with a fist or something, I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's possibly, possibly a uh, water fighting type evolution when it evolves, but the design, a bit average, um, but it's simple enough to where I do like it, uh, especially. I mean, I actually got a Sandcastle Pokemon yesterday. That's probably one of the best Pokemon designs um, for Sun and Moon. I'm really hyped to actually use that thing. <laughs> that thing is hilarious. Um, props to Game Freak making actually a sand, Sandcastle Pokemon, but this thing is a water type. Um, we also have another new Pokemon here, uh, more, more Lu, Maluli. I'm not quite sure how you say these, more Aluli. Um, probably completely butchering that, but, um, again, another Grass and Fairy type. I don't know, Poison types are really, really going to be, um, top notch in this generation. I can tell you that right now, especially with everything getting the Fairy typing. Um, Steel types definitely going to be getting a buff in this generation as well. Um, just because absolutely everything's getting a Fairy type in this gen. Dark types also looking very, very awesome and very, very good just because a lot of things are getting the psychic typing. Uh, but again, kind of counters itself out because of fairy typing. It's getting added to pretty much everything. One of the things I really, really see um, getting a really huge nerf is the dragon typing. With all these ice and fairy types running around in Gen 7 so far, pretty much like 90% of the Pokemon um, have either the fairy typing or the ice typing so far. And there's a lot of ghost typing as well, so like dark types and knockoff users are really, really going to be getting a buff this next generation. That's just my opinion on it, but, um, Moralu Moraluli, I'm not quite sure how to say that, but, again, grass fairy type, four times weak to poison. Again, being a grass type, not gonna, not really the best typing, and, uh, neutral to steel, I guess, but four times weak to poison, really not that good. Um, wishy-washy, now... I was kind of skeptical on this thing, but um, ability schooling, I'm not quite sure how it actually does this, but actually it goes into like a school form 
Uh, solar form looks decent. I mean, it's not really the best design, I guess. It's kind of a simple design, kind of like Magikarp, in my opinion. Uh, they throw in a, a simple design. Um, maybe it's because of the simple design when it turns into the school form. Uh, Wishy-washy. Uh, kind of a cool name, school form. Reminds me of a submarine, actually. It looks kind of like a submarine. Um, not quite, again, not quite sure how it turns in this form. If it gets, like, below half HP, if it gets almost killed and lives barely or something. I'm not quite sure, but... Or you have to have, like, a certain move. Maybe they're going to have, a, like, where you use a certain move and it actually activates the ability. Maybe that's what they'll do. But, as for design for Wishiwashi school form, looks absolutely nice. Um, really, really like the design. Um, especially, because uh, it's made out of a bunch of other fish. Even though it looks a little bit like a sub, uh, to be honest. Uh, it, it, I do like the concept of it being pretty much a school fish coming together to beat one enemy down. Um, not really much else to say. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to slap a lot of the other water typings. Maybe some more Alola forms are going to have the water typing as well. Um, in the end though, I think pretty much all the typings may have a, pretty much just counter each other. It may become more balanced as we get more stuff leaked, but as of right now, we're getting so many things leaked right now, guys. Um, again, really wasn't planning on making a video about this. I was going to wait till Friday till the trailer drops on the Fish Pokemon channel, but... Um, you guys wanted to hear my opinions on these, and these were actually just leaked. Uh, they actually are now confirmed officially, so that's why I wanted to make a video on these. Um, just tell you guys what my opinions, so you guys really wanted to hear them as well. But, um, moving on, uh, moving on, we actually have, uh, Alolan Marowak now. This was actually leaked yesterday in Koro Koro. Um, basically it's a sealed shot, but right here we actually got the official picture of it in-game. do really like the background of it. It looks like in a volcano this area. Maybe possibly the gym leaders area. Um, well, you really don't call them gym leaders now. They're uh, more of like trial captains, I think. But the fire ghost typing, um, cursed body and lightning rod. You're not able to paralyze this thing. You're not able to will o wisp this thing. So being resistant to two of the status out of th pretty much three of the statuses, um, the only thing it really get, can get is Toxic, but having a Will-O-Wisp immunity and a uh, Paralyzed immunity is very, very awesome, especially with the Lightning Rod, which Marowak does have right now, but um, also gaining the Cursed Body ability, which is a decent ability. Dep it depends on its stat distribution, in my opinion. I really like the design for this thing. I really plan on using this thing as well. It looks completely sick, but it all depends on its uh, stat distribution. Um, if they're going to make this thing more offensive, then Cursed Body really isn't the best ability. Um, that being not really a ground type now, it gets a, a special attack boost. So maybe if they make this thing more of like a special attack with like earth power and give it like some uh, hard hitting special moves and something like that. Maybe give it access to psychic, give it access to uh, flamethrower, fire blast, um, shadow ball. Um, give it a few f physical moves. Maybe have it like a basically a same attack, same special attack mon. Um, for example, uh, like base 100 attack, base 100 special attack, just for example. And have it give it some decent speed, maybe more of a faster, less bulky Marowak. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing that, but Cursed Body really isn't the best ability if it's going to be that. It's more suited for like bulkier mods, like Jellicent, which gets it, stuff like that. But um, now it not being a light, or a ground type, Lightning a Rod really is an awesome ability. Uh, getting a plus one switch attack raise on the switch in uh, to Electro type move. Um, so. Really looking forward to using the thing competitively. It all depends on the stat distributions, though. Um, maybe those keep it like the same. I'm, I highly doubt it, though. It's a new form, so they have to really change the stats around. Maybe it have the same base total stats. Um, maybe like Megas, where it has like gains like a few gain stats or something like that. Or that they might just do like a different form and just like change the stats around. As for like the evolutions, maybe they'll just give this thing a different speed stat and like switch it out with like attack stat or something. But um, here's the thing a lot of people actually been coming to me and asking my opinion about Raichu, um, Alolan form. Now, I really like the design of this thing, guys. Um, electric fairy type. Um, I actually thought it was going to be electric fairy. Uh, not, not elect I, thought I, I thought it was going to be electric fairy. I can't even talk. Um, but it's actually electric psychic type with the ability Surge Surfer. Um, as for design, this thing is awesome. Uh, basically, riding on its tail, uh, surfing on its tail. Um, Raichu, hopefully this thing gets an awesome buff. Uh, maybe Pikachu will get a low form as well, I'm assuming, just because of Raichu. And also, maybe we'll get a Persian, a low form, just because uh, a low Meowth was confirmed yesterday in Koro Koro. But, um, 
really do like this thing. Uh, it all depends on, the, again, it all depends on the stat distribution. If they're going to make this thing more like a bulky thing, psychic typing really isn't the bulkiest typing, uh, being weak to dark, which is a very offensive typing. But electric typing is very, very awesome, um, being weak to ground only. So maybe they'll keep like the same stats, give it a little bit of a buff in speed, attack, maybe special attack, something like that. I don't know, maybe they can do something like that. Um, Pretty much the same as Raichu. I hope they actually get a uh, stat buff though, because Raichu right now really has it has decent stats in the right places, but it's not really high enough to hit super hard. That's really the issue with the regular Raichu, and that's the reason why it's actually PU right now. So um, it does get a decent move pool. I admit that it gets things like Extreme Speed, it gets Surf, a lot of other not a cool moves, but most of those are actually event exclusives. So. Um, Iron Tail gets a decent amount of moves, decent physical moves, uh, Brick Break, uh, more special, not really special, uh, kind of limited on the special tie, more to Volt Switch and uh, Thunderbolt and stuff like that, Focus Blast, maybe Hidden Power, gets Surf, other than that you really don't have much really this special to run. Um, here's actually the ability, um, Alolan Raichu Speed doubles when Electric Train is active, so you say in double battles, you set up Electric Train with like a bulkier Mon, um, for example, uh, maybe a Manectric. I know Manectric gets electric ter terrain. I can't talk. Um, electric terrain. Uh, maybe you set it up with like something different. I'm not quite sure what else <laughs> really gets it. Pachiritsu, I guess, gets it, I think. Um, instantly, when that's actually uh, on the field, uh, Raichu speed doubles. So I can see the thing being a very, very big threat in doubles battles, especially with it actually getting access to fake out. And a lot of uh, support moves like light screen and stuff like that. Um, I do definitely see this thing actually being a very, very big threat in doubles and competitive in Gen 7. Uh, especially with nuzzle capabilities and not even with us knowing what stat distribution is going to get yet. So, um, kind of cool ability. Um, I guess the current abilities right now are motor drive and static really ain't the best abilities, but... Electric immunity is decent, even though Raichu really isn't the bulkiest of Mon. And if you try switching in on Electro type move and your opponent predicts that, you're pretty much dead. But um, other than that, cool ability. I really don't play too much doubles. Maybe I can dabble in doubles when Gen 7 arrives, uh, depending on a lot of the other stuff. I know there's a lot of few mods like Marjana that has a cool doubles ability and stuff like that. But um, other than that, I would move on to the next few things. Last two things we basically have is actually uh, uh, Team Skull's leader, uh, Guzma, and uh, Team Skull's big sister, uh, Plumeria. So, not really too much to say here, but it's pretty much, I think these two are probably the top, like uh, Archie and Maxi, for example. These are probably the like, two top people in Team Skull. Not quite sure if it's going to be an evil team, like, turn around, and we're actually going to work with them to take somebody else down. It's going to be like a mindfuck storyline in this uh, Gen 7, but not quite sure, but... Um, hope you guys did enjoy this. Not really much else to go over uh, other than this. Um, planning to make a video on Friday uh, when the trailer actually is released on the official Pokemon website. Um, other than that, hope you guys did enjoy this. Um, feel free to drop a like down below. And if you do want more like of videos like this in the future and uh, more Pokemon content, feel free to subscribe as well. I do apologize if I'm getting mumbly and can't talk. I'm kind of tired right now, but. Um, from working all night, uh, working my ass off. Um, anyways, guys, see you guys hopefully on Friday. Actually, tomorrow because I'll hopefully have the team builder up by tomorrow. But if you guys want to want to go vote on that? It's on my Twitter. Uh, depending when you guys are seeing this, but four Pokemon on my Twitter. If you guys want to go vote for them, peace.